Good morning, church. My name is Kuku Zulu. I am here today to shame the devil and glorify our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Uh, I would like to thank God for what he has done for me. I would like to thank God for my instant healing that I received at Shekinah Ministries on the 12th of June. Uh, on the 11th of June, we went with my family to Pretoria for my uncle's tombstone unveiling. We got there, everything was fine. After we came back around 8 in the evening, when I got into my house, I found out there was sand in my house on the floor. So I didn't think much of it. I just took off my shoes, but then I could feel that my feet were so uncomfortable. But then I slept, so I couldn't sleep the whole night. I was just tossing and turning. Then on the morning, I was thinking, I'm tired. I didn't sleep well, so I'm not going to church. But then my sister called me and said, let's go to church. And I was like, I'm tired. She continued saying, let's go to church. So I decided to wake up and come to church. By the time we were coming here, I told her that my feet are so uncomfortable, so it's better for me to wear high heels instead of flat shoes, because like flat shoes were making them worse. So I wore high heels, then I took my flat shoes and put them in the bag. I came and sat at the back there. So while the service was going on and on, my feet started swelling, so I took off those shoes and wore the flat shoes. Then I came in the front, it was a tight time. When I was coming in the front, I realized that I couldn't walk. From my feet to my knees, my legs were so tight, I couldn't walk. So I forced myself to come to the front. I put my tight on the altar, then I went back. Then while I was sitting there, my feet continued to swell. One thing I noticed in the morning while I was coming here is that my anointing oil, when I was anointing myself in the morning, on Sunday morning, my anointing oil looked rotten inside. It had something that looked like soil or blood clots inside. So I decided to anoint my body but not my mouth. I came with that anointing oil to the church because it was anointing service. I sat at the back. We, we enjoyed the service until the end. But at the end of the service, I realized that on both shoes that I had, I couldn't fit my shoes. I couldn't fit my feet on them. So I just sat there, but then by the end of the service, I just ran to the front. I came to the man of God as he was leaving, and I told him, man of God, I don't know what is happening to me. Right now I can't walk, and my anointing oil is rotting. And he said to me, what happened? Then I told him. Then he laughed at me, he just put his feet on top of my feet, and said, you are healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed. I then believed him then instantly. As I believed him, I felt as if something was coming off my feet. The tightness and everything, the pain was gone instantly. It's just that my feet were still swollen, so I couldn't fit my shoes. As I walked, I felt as if my, shoes, my feet were going to tore apart. But then I was healed instantly. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. So you mean that the man of God just prayed for you there on the altar where you're standing and then you, you were instantly healed just like that? I was instantly healed just like that. I could walk back home. It's just that there was a lot of pressure on my feet. But the next morning I woke up, my feet were so normal as if nothing has ever happened. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. <laughs> Sister, we are seeing a photo next to you there. Can you please explain uh, uh, the photo for us? I took this photo after service on Sunday. This is how my feet looked. But then by this time, I was feeling much better because at the time, as I was sitting at the back there, I could feel that I can't breathe. I was sweating. Like everything was tight. My whole body, there was like, there was something that was holding my whole body. But by then I was relieved of pain, but my feet were this much. This is how my feet had swelled on that morning. But by the following morning, Monday morning, I was so normal as if nothing has ever happened to my feet. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. So, sister, do you mean to tell us that you were prayed for by the man of God? Now can you wear heels that you said you couldn't wear anymore? Yes, I can wear them. I and, can wear them. And the shoes can now fit perfectly? Perfectly. Praise the Lord.
congregation, we just saw our sister's feet there on the, on the screen. May we please see our sister's feet again on the screen? As she had told us that she couldn't wear the shoes anymore, but now she's able to, to wear her shoes. Praise Master Jesus. <clears throat> Sister, what word of advice do you have for those that are listening to you, that are on the prayer line especially, and are believing for a healing in their life? Uh, my word of advice, I would like to tell them that everything has to do with belief. And every instruction that a man of God gives you, you must believe that because it's, it's, it's not about us. It's about us believing the word of God. If we believe that God can do it for us, then that's when God does it for us. And that's what happened to me because if I had not believed that I was healed at that moment, if I had doubted, I think I was going to wake up the next morning believing that I was sick. But I believe that I am healed. Then I woke up healed. Amen. Put your hands together for Master Jesus' congregation. Beautiful, beautiful words of advice from our sister there. May your healing stay permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen.